Okay. Go. All right. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Oh, shoot. Welcome back, everybody, to Real Sales Dynamics. We are out here in gorgeous San Diego. Today, on this week's episode, we're going to teach you a couple simple tips that are going to get you ahead of 99% of door to door sales reps. Let's get it. Right, so you guys are obviously here to learn, right? So we're gonna start with the most foundational tip. It's gonna be time on the doors. So you're probably thinking, especially for your newer reps, when should I go out there and knock? Over here at Pacific United Power, we knock from one to eight. Now those first four hours are gonna be understanding your territory, priming you for that four to eight time period, which is gonna be more of your golden hours. This is where you're gonna set and see a lot more of your appointments being done. Why? Because a lot more people are home, and this is gonna be the time where you're gonna either engage with not only one of the homeowners, but both of the homeowners. So that leads me into metrics. This is what 99% of other door-to-door -door salesmen aren't doing. And when we understand that, we can understand how many doors it takes to have those conversations, for those conversations to turn to appointments, and for those appointments to turn to a sale. And obviously, now we wanna know how many sales it takes to go ahead and pay off that mortgage. Tip number two, prospecting. Now, prospecting is very important because this shows you how efficient you are with your time, which in turn gives you more conversation, which in turn gets you more sales. And so this begs the question, how do we prospect? One thing that we look for is the tire marks, oil marks. These things tell us where they're parking, if they're inside the garage, or if they're outside. The next thing that we can look at is the no soliciting sign. Typically when they have a no soliciting sign, that means a lot of salespeople skip that door. But again, that just means they're locked less. And my personal favorite is when they have a yard sign in the front, either by pest control or by security system, as that tells you that they've been sold before in the past by a door to door salesman, which gives you a hot lead. Now, I know typically in this territory, it takes about five doors to have one conversation. And I know that every two conversations I have, I set one appointment. So how does that break down? I need to hit at least 10 doors to get one appointment. Let's go see how that works out. Huh? That's our, that's our company oh, shirt right there. Sick, yes, sir. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Halloween Town. It's a great movie. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Hey, how you doing, sir? <coughs> is this the Monguia? 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 Is this the Monguia residence? No, it's not. Okay, are you, we're are just, you guys? We're just renters here. Oh, you Sorry. guys are just renters? Yeah. Is a lot of your neighborhood uh, a lot of renters? <coughs> You know, I'm not really too sure. I don't think so. Okay. Okay. No worries. Yeah. Thank have you. a good rest of your day. Hey, sir. How you doing? I'm good. What's I, happening? I'm just making sure we're in the right spot. So the Ford residence? Yes. Awesome. I'm just following up on a notice that I got sent out to you back in January. It's in regards to the third phase of the Smart Grid project. We had a chance to read and respond to that. The what? Smart Grid project? No. Okay, um, well, we'll do our best to fill you in. A lot of your neighbors have already responded to this specifically. Um, what it's saying is for you guys to not purchase power or purchase panels yeah. due to the fact that you guys are a low power usage community. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't make sense for you guys to buy panels and spend thirty, forty thousand dollars to do that, correct? I'm not doing it. No, perfect. I, I agree with you. I, I wouldn't do it either. Uh, do you guys get a lot of reps that come by? Yeah. Yeah, no, and they're always trying to slam in your face like, hey, buy the panels, yeah, buy the panels. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, since you guys are deemed a low power usage community, what we can do is we can lay panels down in your home and you wouldn't have to pay anything out of pocket. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't work for all homes. Um, what's like a typical utility bill run you? My electric bill? A couple mm -hmm. hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks? Yeah. Okay. So I don't use that much power. No, absolutely. That's why I said you guys are deemed a low power usage community. Yeah. Um, my job's super simple. I just gotta look at a bar graph. It looks like this. Probably seen it before. Oh yeah, yeah. Every time I get a bill, there's one in there. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. It's yeah. on the third page. Yeah. Yep. I just gotta look at the bar graph, and I gotta go look at the meter on the side of the house. To do what? So I'm just seeing if you qualify for the program that I'm specifically oh, talking about. I'm not interested. No, I'm not, I'm not trying to sell you interest. on the notice since you didn't respond to it we have to come out now in person and so my job super simple I just gotta see the bar graph and I just gotta look at the meter on the side of the house you can look at the meter 
I don't know if I can if I can find the bill or not. Okay. Well, I'm I'm just gonna go look the meter then, and I'll just meet you back at the front. Okay. I'll yeah. I'll th I'll take a look at that yeah. if I have it. No worries. All right. I couldn't find it. No worries. Did you do it on? Oh, okay. Even easier. So right here in the building. And then we're just gonna scroll down billing, scroll down here, and then just gonna view your detailed bill. And then this on the third page is exactly what I'm talking about. So if you yeah. scroll down here, so this is your usage right. that I'm talking about specifically. Right. And so what we do with that, since I mean is this like a typical year for you guys? Yeah. Of how much you'd pull? Sure. Okay, my job's super simple. Let's take a picture of that. And I sent it over to my design team. And my design team, we designed a system for you that would cover all your usage so you wouldn't get a bill from Edison anymore. You can see I don't use any yeah. power. I, well, in the later months, in the summer well, yeah, months. Well, summer months it goes up a little bit. Well, yeah, but if you average that out, I, it don't matter to me. Because I know there's going to be a bill, regardless of you telling me about the panels on the roof. Sure. Okay, for free. There's sure. always going to be a cost. No, absolutely. It just, and, and it just doesn't make... I put the pen to the paper on it sure. before. It just sure. doesn't make sense. What if I can show you actual savings? What are you going to save me? Twenty-five dollars a month? I mean, twenty-five dollars a month? You're not going to. You're not going to say. Look, I just showed you what my average is. Yeah. No, I, absolutely. Yeah. I, well, I'm, I'm. I'm just trying to tell you. Hey, how you doing, my man? Yeah. I, I, I was talking to him a little bit about it. Uh, I'm, I'm following up on this that guy said I told the homeowners. Yeah. Yes, it is about solar. Um, a lot of your neighbors, they bought panels probably back in the day mm -hmm. because their utility bill was super expensive. Obviously, I'm pretty sure you probably understand that as well. You already talked to your neighbors, right? Oh, yeah. What I'm trying to tell you here, um, what I'm telling your dad, mm -hmm. is essentially the program, the program that's out is we can lay down the panels on your home. We would maintain them. We would insure them. It's the same exact way of how you're paying your utility bill, mm -hmm. except it's going to be at a flatter rate and you're going to know exactly what that is every single month. But I was telling him it doesn't work for all homes. And all it is is if it makes sense, I'll just slide back by, show you guys a savings report of how much we'll actually save you mm -hmm. throughout your time that you continue to live here. And if it doesn't work out, awesome. doesn't, but if it does, obviously take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. It's only going to continue to increase. I know you've already talked to a bunch of different solar reps, <laughs> but I'm telling, you, I'm telling you when they came by, it was to buy panels. Now we're able to do this exactly. No, a hundred percent. I know this. It's the same exact way as how you're paying your utilities. That's what I'm really boiling it down to is no matter what, like you said, you're going to have a bill, but why not pay that bill cheaper and hedge against rate increases? Let me tell you this next year. Do you know how much Edison's going to increase by? Oh, no, I don't know. No idea. Right? Yeah. Nobody does. I know next year that they're already getting approved for a 6.3% increase. Right now they're waiting on standby right now to get approved for another 6.3% month to month. So it will compound on you month to month by 6%. They're waiting to get approved for that. A lot of people don't know this because a lot of people obviously just don't care or they'll just pay whatever they want to pay to it. But I'm trying to tell you and help you guys out. So that way you guys are hedging against this in the future. It's huge, but you're not, obviously you're not giving me the time of day. I, I would love to be able to slide back by and prove you wrong. That's how confident I am in what I'm talking about. So let me get please. this straight. So it's, <laughs> so it's. I know you just pulled up. So, so yeah, please. I just, I I'd just love to be able to fill you in. Absolutely. So we're paying you for the service of having the. You're paying for electricity that's coming off the panels. Got it. Got it. Here, go ahead, pull up your utility bill, okay? One more time. I'm about to show you exactly what I'm talking about. I, I'd love to show you exactly what I'm talking about, and you're gonna be amazed because a lot of people don't even understand their Edison bill. I'd love to break this all down to you. So, if you look here, mm -hmm. I want to be able to show both of you. So. If you look here, right, mm. uh, right here, boom. Look at all these delivery charges that you guys pay, right? So if you add up all your delivery charges, your half your utility bill is coming just from getting your electricity to you. So if you add up the 90 cents for delivery, basic charges for the tier one and tier two, so $9 there, $11 there, $51, $71, $3, so what we would do is we, cancel out the delivery charges mm -hmm. you guys generate your look your electricity locally and you will know exactly what you're paying every single month for your utility bill how is it guaranteed how is sure the energy that we produce on our roof and that we are charged for through your guys's 
contractor program. How is that consistent while Edison is not consistent? So again, to allude to your question specifically, how do you know exactly what you're paying every single month? You're, you're locked in a certain amount every single month. And if, okay. Yeah. So if we're locked in a certain amount. Okay. And what's the average locked in amount? Yeah. Every home's different. Like I said, that's why I have to send the bar graph over to my design engineer to see if this would even work. At the end of the day, you guys might even not even work. There's a lot of different hoops that we have to go through. We have to do a site survey. See if the roof is even in good condition to even like do anything with it. Mm -hmm. um, we have to, we have to still ping this off of Edison because Edison can say no. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different uphill. Right. At the end of the day, I'm telling you, you can, you can stabilize your utility rate that you have to pay and you don't have to pay anything up front, no out of pocket, no cost. All we're doing is just swapping out your bill and you're getting cleaner energy. You're getting rid of those distribution charges. You're getting rid of a utility that increases the rates on you whenever they feel like it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't even know if you qualify though. I'm trying to understand here. Yeah, no, absolutely. Okay, Please. So what if we go over? We tap into Edison again? If you were to go over, and that, that's, that's all coming into the sizing, right? We're making yeah, yeah. sure, but yes. To answer your question, yes. Yeah, so we, if pull we go from over, Edison. we'll pull from Edison, and then we'll pay uh, electricity bill from that, whatever. Okay, I think I understand. What if something starts going wrong with a panel? Maintain, insured, any... Question is, you said survey is no charge, and you'll... Doesn't cost you anything. Is insulation included? Everything's included. Everything's included. Really, right now, I'm just trying to just get information, which I got the bar graph the specific that I needed, mm -hmm. and then I have time mm -hmm. to be able to answer all of your questions. Yeah, yeah. And we can really go into it, and I'll show you everything. I'm not scared to go line by line with you guys. It's not hard. I do this. I do this. This is my job. Because I hear all the. I hear this all the time. Yeah, it doesn't. Man, like, look, like, do you look at your care. wallet more or your, I, your roof? Yeah, I don't care how it looks. Sure. If you're tired of that subpar training from your managers and you feel like you've gotten value from this video, we are hiring. Click the link below and somebody will reach out to you. When's just a better time to come back by so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about? Probably around five o'clock. I'm here all the time. I'm retired. It's off on Monday. Okay. I just like, like I said. But I, you know, uh, what's a good phone number? Yeah, you can go. All right, cool. Yep. Uh, Monday at five. I'll just need a corner of the table just so I can show you guys everything we came up with. And yeah. But my name is Trent, by the way. What was the name again? Ron. Ron, nice to meet you, Ron. James. James, nice to meet you, James. Um, it was honestly a pleasure talking with you guys. And I know you guys get a lot of people coming by. And uh, at the end of the day, I think it's just gonna make sense for you guys, honestly. When I show you everything, what I'm talking about, and you see that there's no hidden line, there's no hidden nothing, you're going to be like, I wish we kind of did this sooner. I've taken it all in. I think, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see the numbers. All right, guys. No worries. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Yeah, yeah. Got to keep going. Right. Um, Good luck. But yeah, nonetheless, Ron James, I, I look forward to Monday. Okay. All right. All right. Have a good rest of your guys' day. Thank you. You too. All right, cool. So that was 12 doors. 12 doors by my count. Within that, that interaction, obviously it came out pretty strong. A lot of people knocked the area. Um, a great way to overcome that is just being able to calm them back down and be able to let them know like, hey, you're not like the other sales reps. You're not like the other people around here. And when they talk to you, it's gonna be different, right? And how we handle that is, hey, getting in front of it already, right? So, hey, do you get a lot of people that knock in this area a lot? Okay, yeah, no, that's, I, I completely understand that. And they're probably telling you to buy panels it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I'm getting in front of those objections. So that way they can't hit me with that. So um, with that being said, be harder at the doors. Then essentially you'll be able to overcome and get what you essentially are trying to get to, which is the bill. Nonetheless, that one's gonna be a good one. Um, they definitely qualify. Uh, now we're just gonna be able to see some things that will help them in order to actually get the panels on the home. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Real Sales Dynamics. And as you can see, with the right words and a little bit of courage, you can walk up to any neighborhood in the US, knock a door, and boom, thousands of dollars. So if you think you can do this, 
Here at Pacific United Power, we are hiring. So if you're in Miami, Tampa, San Diego, and Houston, click the link below, drop an application, and we've loved having you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.